So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we make a remake of the 1981 movie, Clash of the Titans. Remaking existing movies is like a comfy little safety baby blanket for me. I like the sound of that. Amazing. So tell me about this thing. I can't wait to hear about all these titans clashing. There aren't any titans in the movie. What are you talking about? Hey. You said it was called Clash of the Titans. Oh my god, I did, didn't I? Wow, I probably should have included some in here. Anyway, no, we're gonna say that all the Titans are dead. So basically the movie's gonna be Clash of Everyone Except the Titans, if you think about it. Yeah, pretty much. So what's the freaking story? Well, we're gonna follow this guy Perseus, right? And he's the demigod son of Zeus that was raised by human fishermen that freaking hate the gods. Okay. And one day Hades kills his human family, so Perseus is gonna be like, why I oughta? Totally understandable, sure. So who do we get to play Hades. I don't know, whatever actor comes to mind is somebody who could play like, you know, a dark lord with mystical powers. We'll figure something out. But anyway, see, the thing is, some humans from this city called Argos destroyed the statue of Zeus, which, you know, basically means they're declaring war on the gods. That kind of seems unwise. Maybe. So then Hades goes to see Zeus. Who are we gonna get to play Zeus? I was thinking Liam Neeson in a very, very shiny costume. Oh, shiny Liam's are tight. Yeah, so Hades is like, hey man, we gotta do something about these disrespectful humans. How about we give them like 10 days to kill a princess or I release a freaking kraken monster. Is the kraken from Greek mythology? There's literally no way for me to check that. Oh, bummer. So now Perseus and some dudes have to go on this quest to kill the kraken because that's the only way to weaken Hades and get like a fatal blow. How does he know that? Oh, a very pretty exposition lady tells him. Who's very pretty exposition lady? She's a very pretty lady that follows him around and explains the movie to him all the time. Oh, that's helpful. It sure is, sir. So Perseus heads out with this little squad and these two guys are like, hey, we're coming with you. We're coming along. And what are they gonna do? They're gonna freaking be there for a little bit, and at a certain point, they're gonna be like, alright, we're gonna leave now. Sure, okay. They might as well be in the movie. They're gonna be. So anyway, the squad has to walk super far to go see some witches who can explain to them how to take down the Kraken. If they only have ten days, this feels like it might be more of a horseback situation. Hey, shut up. And so Zeus is gonna try to give Perseus this magical sword, but Perseus is like, no, I don't accept gifts from the god. I'm gonna do this myself as a man. Why would Zeus try to help him and stop his own plan. Because. And so later they're gonna get attacked by this guy whose blood turns into giant scorpions. Whoa, it's gonna be hard for them to survive giant scorpion attacks. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, these djinn people show up out of nowhere and tame the scorpions, so now they can use those as little horsies. How do they know how to tame sudden giant blood scorpions? Magic or something for sure, probably. So then they finally make it to these ugly witches that can see into the future, and they're like, hey, tell us what the next plot point of the story is. Oh, and so what do they find out? Well, for one thing, they find out that Perseus is gonna die on this quest. Is that true? Well, no, because the squad's gonna be like, we're gonna prove these oracles wrong, so it's not, that's not gonna happen. So they don't believe that these oracles can actually be trusted. I guess not, no. So then they find out that to kill the Kraken, they need Medusa's head. Well, why'd they believe that part? I don't know. So now they gotta go to the underworld and kill Medusa. Isn't Medusa's story kind of a messed up tragic one? Yeah, super tragic. So they're gonna go buy bother her in her underworld cave she's just trying to live in and chop her head off. Oh my god. But you can't just wander into the underworld. You need to pay the boat operator guy. Okay. But luckily Zeus gave Perseus a shiny coin so that works out pretty well. He didn't want to accept the sword gift but he's okay with the coin gift. That's what we're going with. So then Perseus manages to get Medusa's head but everybody in his squad dies and very pretty exposition lady's gonna get stabbed and die too. Oh no! Very pretty exposition lady! Yeah plus they had a little romantic thing going on, so it's extra sad for Perseus. What was their romantic moment? Well, she was privately showing him how to not get killed by Medusa, and then they got they got close for a second, you know? It kind of feels like something she should have showed the whole group. Well, she didn't, and now they're dead, and so Perseus uses that sword from Zeus to kill this attacker guy. Alright, so now he's okay with using that gift as well. Yeah, sure, okay, but now ten days are up and the Kraken's gonna get released. Oh no! So Perseus hops on a Pegasus and flies over there to try to kill it. Very exciting. And Hades actually reveals to Zeus that even though Zeus gets his power from people's love and prayers, Hades gets it from their fear. Okay. Yeah, so Hades releasing the Kraken's gonna make him super powerful. So why didn't he just release it in the first place? Hey, shut up. So then Perseus is gonna fly around on this Pegasus and he's gonna manage to show Medusa's head to the Kraken, which freaking turns to stone. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, so the Kraken's freaking dead, sir, and then Perseus uses Zeus's sword to shoot lightning at Hades and send him back into the underworld. How do you know how to do that? By being the main character. So then Zeus shows up and he's like, I'm proud of you, son, for 
you know, stopping the thing that I myself set into motion. Right. And then he's like, and as a gift, I brought Pretty Exposition Lady back to life. So you guys can kiss and stuff now. That'll be fun to kiss her. What about his dead family? The thing that set him on this journey in the first place? Nah. Oh, dang it. And so that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a movie. I just wonder if there's something we can do to really make this movie pop. Well, 3D is all the rage these days. How about we do that? You think people would like that? Like they'll think it'll look good? There's not a doubt in my mind, sir. Hi everybody, Ryan George here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed other videos that you may have watched today as well. I hope you enjoyed your breakfast. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. If you're going to bed now, I hope you have a wonderful sleep. I hope tomorrow is good. I hope the day after is all right. I hope that next week sucks, but that the one after is good. Okay, bye now. Thank you.